A very good evening all. So welcome to today's anatomy and physiology class. I'm very thrilled to have you all here as we continue exploring the fascinating intricacies of the human body. Before we begin, I had like to remind you of a few housekeeping rules to ensure we have a smooth and engaging section. Please keep your microphones muted unless you are speaking to minimize background noise. And, and feel free, free to use the chat, chat to ask questions or share, share comments. I'll address, I'll address them during, during the discussion or at the question and answer section at the end. If you experience any technical issue, let me know in the chat and I will do my best to assist. So today, we will be covering uh, some important examination topics. So grab all your notes and get ready to dive into the wonders of the human body. So, so let's get started. get started. I invite ma'am ma to take over the section. section. Please. Please. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bijina, and today we are going to deal with the subject Applied Anatomy and Physiology for the first semester BSc. So anatomy and physiology are combined subject but for examination you have to attend it in two different QPs. Your first paper will be applied anatomy and the second paper will be applied physiology. Okay. The question paper discussion and exam preparation will be done in our second section. In this section we are revising your syllabus and discussing some important questions. So let's have a look on to your syllabus first. Here is your applied anatomy syllabus. So basically what is anatomy? Anyone have an idea? Anyone? What is anatomy? So anatomy is the science which deals with structure of human body so in anatomy we are giving more importance to diagrams for scoring good marks you should know to draw neat and label diagrams of each body parts moving to your anatomy syllabus you are having total 10 units so let's go through each unit the first unit is Introduction to anatomical terms and organization of the human body. In this unit, you are studying about the basis of anatomy and some terminologies. The terminologies related to position, anatomical planes, movements that are discussed in this unit. In the same chapter, you are getting an idea about human cell structure, tissues and its types, and also an idea about the muscles okay from the next chapter we are studying about different body systems so the second chapter is respiratory system in this unit we are studying about the structures in respiratory tract especially the upper respiratory and the lower respiratory organs the diagram of lungs is very important in this unit. You can expect short, short answer type questions from this unit. So third unit that is digestive system. In this unit we are discussing about the structures in. So what are the main structures in elementary canal? Anyone can answer? The main structures in elementary canal. Am I audible? So, first one is mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. These are the main structures in elementary canal. From this chapter, you can expect short answer questions. Okay, so the next that is 
fourth unit circulatory and lymphatic system in this unit you are studying about the structure of blood cells arterial and venous system the structure of heart and its chambers and also you get an idea about the blood supply and nerve supply to the heart from this unit you can expect long essay type questions from this chapter clear yeah. next is fifth unit that is endocrine system in this unit you are studying about the anatomical structure of hypothalamus pineal gland pituitary gland thyroid gland etc in this chapter the diagram of pituitary gland pancreas and thyroid gland are very important there is a chance to get long essay type questions from these topics next unit is sixth unit sensory organs so what are the sensory organs how many sensory organs so there are five sensory organs in this unit you are studying about structures of skin eye ear nose and tongue for examination they may ask the structure of skin may be for two marks or for five marks in the most common question asking frequently is the structure of skin so be thorough with the layers of skin and to draw neat and label diagram and also they may ask mcq type questions from this chapter next is seventh unit musculoskeletal system in this unit we are studying about the bones types of bones and its structure and about joints its classification everything we are discussing in this chapter in the same chapter we are studying about muscles its types and structures so we get an idea about some important muscles from this chapter you can expect long essay and short answer type questions from this unit this unit is very important because you should be very clear about the muscles to take an im injection without knowing the exact position you can administer the im medicines so next next is the eighth unit next slide eighth unit renal system so which is the major organ in the renal system the major organ in the renal system is kidneys the kidneys are very important in the urinary system in this chapter you are studying about the structure of kidneys ureters and bladder from this unit you can expect mcq type and short answer type questions the next is ninth unit reproductive system next is reproductive system in this unit two main systems we are studying the first one is male reproductive system and second one is female reproductive system the more importance is going to the female reproductive system in this unit you are studying about the structure of male and female reproductive system and also studying about the structure of breast from this unit you can expect short answer questions so next is the last unit of applied anatomy that is nervous system in this unit we are getting an idea about the neurons central nervous system, central nervous system autonomic, autonomic nervous system, system and peripheral nervous system in the, the same, same chapter, chapter we are discussing the, the structure of brain spinal cord and the cranial nerves for examination they may ask mcq or short answer from this unit the structure of brain is very important in this chapter so you should know how to draw a neat label diagram of brain 
and cranial nerves are the second important question there are 12 cranial nerves one is olfactory optic oculomotor trochlear trigeminal abdescence facial vestibular cochlea glossopharyngeal vagus accessory and last one is hypoglossal again i am repeating the 12 cranial nerves one is olfactory next optic oculomotor trochlea trigeminal abdescens facial vestibular cochlea glossopharyngeal vagus accessory and last is hypoglossal is that clear for everyone hope you got that so this is a probable this is a probable question for two mark so this is an overview of your entire anatomy syllabus once again i'm repeating the anatomy is mainly focusing on the structure and anatomical position okay okay next moving to the physiology in physiology we are dealing with the functioning of all body parts okay in your applied physiology syllabus you are having 11 units in total let's go through one by one the first unit is general physiology in this unit you are studying about cell division the transportation across membrane intracellular and extracellular fluids okay tissue formation and function of membranes glands are also explained in the same unit you may get mcq or short essay questions from this chapter so there are some important questions the difference between intracellular and extracellular fluids that is one important question next is the unique function of components of cell and the next is cell cycle these are the main important questions these questions may be asked for 5 mark so next the second unit the second unit in physiology is respiratory system in this unit you are studying about the physiology of respiration the exchange of gases in tissues and pulmonary function test is also discussed in the same unit so next is the third unit digestive system in this unit you are studying about the physiology of digestion we studied about the composition secretion and function of saliva pancreatic juice and also the gastric juices these are very important topic you can expect long essay type question from this portion the metabolism of carbohydrate and fat are also important in the same chapter so next is the fourth unit circulatory and lymphatic system in this unit we are studying about the functioning of heart and mainly discussing the conduction of blood through chambers of heart and also studying about the coronary circulation pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation the normal values and variations in pulse blood pressure are very important mcq questions from this topic you can expect short answers also so next is a 50 unit 50 unit of your physiology is blood in this unit you are studying about the components of blood so what are the components of blood what are the components of blood there are rbc wbc platelets and plasma these each components have unique function in a human body in this unit we are discussing about the blood groups and types of blood grouping next slide in the same chapter erythropoiesis and hemostasis are very important 
you can expect it for sa type question so clotting mechanism and bleeding time is also an Im important question for short answer that is an probable question for your upcoming exam so next is the sixth unit endocrine system so in endocrine system we are discussing about the hormones how they are acting in our body and their unique functions are discussed in this unit the normal values of hormones are very important mcq question so you should be very clear with the normal values of hormones next is the seventh unit that is sensory organs seventh unit sensory organs in this unit the functions of sensory organs are very important in that physiology of hearing and functions of skin are very important these questions may be asked for exam as short answer question so next is the eighth unit that is musculoskeletal system in this chapter we are studying about the bones and muscles the functions and movements of bone and bone healing is an important topic in this unit there is a question stages of bone healing that is an important question so the first stage is hematoma formation in this phase blood clot is formed around the fracture the second stage soft callus phase soft callus phase in this phase soft callus callus is formed like a bridge but it is not strong enough excuse me just a minute so the first stage is hematoma formation stage 2 is soft callus phase in the next stage the callus the callus becomes strong that is the stage 3 hard callus phase the last phase is bone remodeling phase in this phase the complete bone healing occurs and the fractured bone healed and get more strength as before okay this is a very important question it may ask for long essay so another important question from that chapter is properties of muscle tissue it may ask for mcq or short answer so next is the ninth unit renal system in this unit physiology of urine formation and functions of kidneys ureters urethra and urinary bladder are very important the function of kidneys are probable question for short answer one more question is the glomerular filtration rate this may ask for short answer so next is the 10th unit reproductive system in this unit we have to study about two physiology that female reproductive system and male reproductive system in female reproductive system menstrual cycle and functions of hormones are very important the hormonal changes may ask for 10 mark functions of breast may be asked for short answer oogenesis is also an important question for mcq in male reproductive system spermatogenesis and functions of reproductive organs are very important 
so you can expect long essay short answer and mcq from the same unit so the last unit, last unit of physiology that is, that is nervous, nervous system. system in this unit we are yeah, detailed studying about brain, brain and spinal cord the function of different structure of brain and function of cerebrospinal fluid are very important in this unit csr formation is a probable question for essay type next is the blood brain barrier and blood csf barrier it is also a very important question from this unit you can expect essay and short answer also so is it clear for everyone so this is an overview of your complete applied anatomy and physiology syllabus for first semester bsc hope you guys got an idea about your syllabus so your exam preparation and question paper discussion will be done in the next section thank you everyone Good evening everyone, I am Vishnu Priya. Now we can move on to the next section. Here we are going to deal with the previous year question papers. Applied anatomy and physiology is having the maximum mark of 75 and the examination timing will be 3 hours. For exam, applied anatomy and applied physiology will be there in two different pupils. That means first you have to attend the applied anatomy and after that physiology okay first we can discuss about the anatomy question paper the maximum mark for applied anatomy is 37 and the timing will be one and a half hour within this time you have to complete one long essay three short essay three short answers and six multiple choice questions now we can discuss one by one first you are having long essay it having 10 mark and you have to write a minimum of 5 pages. While writing long essay, you should remember some points. Like your essay should be started with an introduction. Then you have to write down the definition. In applied anatomy, you have to give more importance for diagram. You have to draw a neat and label diagram with your pen itself. You can't use pencil or other color pens for drawing here our first question is write a note on blood supply to the heart first we have to give an introduction the question is focusing on heart so that you you can write some points about the heart like structure position and all three points are enough now you can give the side heading blood supply to the heart under that you can write some points about the coronary blood supply after that you can draw the neat and labeled diagram of the heart with pen and label the parts as the anatomy is more focusing on diagrams you can score the marks easily after labeling the diagrams you can write about left coronary artery and right coronary artery there is one point you have to remember while writing exams. You have to answer the questions in points instead of writing paragraphs. So that the answer sheet will be neat and the examiner will... Sorry. Okay. While writing in points, the answer sheet will be neat and the examiner will evaluate it easily. After writing the main points, you can conclude the long essay. Okay, I think that you got an idea about how to write a long essay. If you are having any doubts, you can note it down and we can discuss it at the end of the session. Now we can move on to the short essays. You are having three short essays each carries five marks 
Your question is describe the nasal cavity and its applied anatomy. So first you can give the heading nasal cavity. After that uh, can give the side heading definition. Under that you can describe the nasal cavity. If you know to draw the diagram you can include that one also. After that you can describe about the roof, floor and nasal septum. For each short essay you have to use a minimum of 3 pages. Is that clear? Okay. Now we are having 3 short answers. Each short answer carries 2 marks. Your first short answer question is draw a diagram of simple cuboidal epithelium. Only you need to draw the diagram of simple cuboidal epithelium. You can score the two marks. There is no need of explanation. Next question is describe the structure of anal canal. Here also you have to draw the diagram of anal canal. Next question is define Biman's capsule. You need to write the definition only for this question. Okay. What is Bowman's capsule? Can anyone tell the answer? Okay. Bowman's capsule is a cup-shaped double-walled sac that surrounds the glomerulus in the nephron of a kidney. After short answers, we are having six multiple choice questions. Each question will have four options. You need to select the appropriate answer from the options. Here, first question is, the pelvic region forms the A, lower portion of abdomen, B, lower portion of the thorax, C, upper portion of abdomen, D, upper portion of the thorax. If anyone know the answer means, you can tell. answer is lower portion of the abdomen next question is the center of the back side of abdomen is called the answer is option B lumbar region next question is excessive secretion of glucocorticoids is the answer is option C Cushing syndrome next question Number of extrinsic muscles involved in the movement of eyeball are? The answer is option C, 7. Next question. The copulatory organ of female is? The answer is option D, vagina. The last question is cerebrospinal fluid in each ventricle is produced by? The answer is option C, choroid plexus. While writing the multiple choice questions, you don't need to repeat the question or don't need to write the whole options. Only you need to write the answer. Within one and a half hour, you need to complete 13 questions. Okay. Now we can move to the applied physiology question paper. Next slide. Okay. For applied physiology, you are having the maximum score 38 and the timing will be one and half hour. You will have one long essay, three short essay, three short answers, and seven multiple choice questions. First, you have a long essay. Already we discussed how to write the long essay. First, need to give an introduction. Here, the question is, describe the digestion in the mouth. In the introduction part, you can give, give some points about the digestion. After that, you can give the side heading, digestion in the mouth. Point by point, you can write the answers. Some points I will give now. Digestion in the mouth is the first step in the digestive process. It begins when food enters the mouth and is broken down by both mechanical and chemical process. 
After that, you can write about mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. And then you can explain about formation of bolus also. At the end, you can write the conclusion. Next, you are having short essays. Three short essays are there. The first question is, explain the hepatic portal system or explain the functions of liver. Only one you need to write. Some students may know hepatic portal system and some may know the functions of liver. If you are confident means you can write one. Now we are moving to the short answers. So the first question is define bronchiectasis. What is the definition of bronchiectasis? Can anyone tell? Anyone? Definition of bronchiectasis. Okay, I will tell. It is a chronic condition characterized by the permanent dilation and damage of the bronchi in the lungs, which can result in recurrent infections, inflammations, and breathing difficulties. So, next question is define gigantism. So, gigantism is a rare hormonal disorder that occurs in children and adolescents, characterized by excessive growth and, uh, and an abnormally large structure. It is caused by overproduction of growth hormones. So, the next question is. And list any four abnormal constituents of urine. Anyone know the answer means you can tell. And list any four abnormal constituents of urine. The first one is protein, second one glucose, third one blood and fourth one ketones. Now we are moving to the multiple choice questions. Your first question is, the process of cell eating is termed as option A, pinocytosis, option B, phagocytosis, option C, exocytosis and option D, epicytosis. So, the answer is option B, phagocytosis. Next question. The difference between systolic and diastolic blood pressure is option A, arterial pressure, B, hydrostatic pressure, C, pulse pressure and D, osmotic pressure. The answer is arterial pressure. Third question. Hemolysis is the process of a. Destruction of all blood cells. B. Destruction of RBC. C. Destruction of WBC. And D. Destruction of platelets. Anyone know the answer means you can also tell. The answer is option B. Destruction of RBC. Next question. Glucocorticoids is produced by A. Adrenal glands B. Parathyroid glands C. Adrenal medulla and D. Pancreatic islands The answer is option A. Adrenal cortex Next question. The layer of the skin that provides elasticity and pliability is Option A. Stratum lucidum. Option B. Stratum germinatum. Option C. Dermis. And option D. Epidermis. The answer is dermis. Next question. Urinary excretion of sodium is regulated by? The answer is adrenal cortex. The last question. The process of cell division in reproductive 
reproductive cell is answer is option b meiosis so we discussed about the question paper of applied anatomy and physiology there is one more thing you uh, one more thing you want to remember for semester uh, your answer booklet will not have any question numbers so you have to write the question number for appropriate answers so the uh, question paper discussion is over anyone is having any doubt means you can ask now Hello students, if you have any remaining questions, uh, now it's time to ask. Students, anyone have any doubt? Otherwise, we can wind up the section. If anyone have any doubt? Okay, uh, we can wind up the section. Thank you all for your attention and participation today. We have explored some more topics and hope you are now more confident in understanding these concepts. So, looking forward to seeing you in our next session. Thank you. Yeah, you can leave now.